Hi, this is Mel from Mesa, Arizona. This is a Moringa Oliveira tree. It's got flowers on it. It's got a lot of pods on it. I decided to let it put on as many pods as it wanted to this year. And this thing is just covered with pods, uh, flowers, and that. The Moringa tree is what's great about it. You can eat the leaves. You can eat these pods when they're small. So when they get bigger like that, you, they get stringy, so you just have to scrape them out on the inside to cook them. Uh, so that's not so stringy. But uh, you can eat these flowers. I saute the flowers in oil, and they uh, resemble like mushrooms when you saute them in flour and that. Um, and in and, and oil and that. But uh, Moringa, you can even eat the root. If you pull up a small tree, you can even eat the root. It's uh, hotter than horseradish. <laughs> Uh, Moringa are very high in nutritional value. Uh, just eating the leaves, uh, it has, uh, when they're fresh and green, it's like seven times the vitamin C of oranges. They have uh, three times the potassium of bananas. Uh, four times the vitamin A of, of carrots. And, uh, they have two times the protein of uh, yogurt. So they're a very healthy tree. I've been growing Moringa for a long time and really enjoy their, their fruit and that, or their, their leaves and eating their leaves and their pods and their flowers. Uh, this tree here is only three years old and you can see it's a huge tree. <laughs> I have trimmed it back, but it, they grow back really fast. I've got several different um, Moringa trees. Here's a small pod. Uh, this is the way they, they start. The flower right there. Let me just kind of put my hand here so I can so let you see it. There's a small one growing there. It's kind of, it's kind of an L shaped right now, but it'll straighten out as it gets a little heavier and hangs down. They start off like that uh, with, when the flowers form and then when the flower starts to fall off. You see the flower's almost dried now, but it's born, formed this pod. This pod will start growing. There's another pod back here. This is this is about the biggest you want them to get uh, in order to to eat them. Other than that, they get stringy when they get a little bit bigger like this. Uh, but once they get really big, then they'll start to dry out. And once they start to dry out, then you can get more seeds from them. So that's why I have several people that wanted moringa seeds uh, from my Facebook page, Mesa A Z Tropical Fruit Trees. And so I was going to get some seeds. Basically, if they live around me, I give them the seeds free. If I have to ship them, then I have to charge because I have to charge for shipping. But uh, it's amazing how fast this tree grew and how many pods it has on it this year. I think there's over a thousand pods in this thing this year that I'll be harvesting off of. Uh, Moringa, you can plant a seed in the ground. Uh, I take the brown husk off of it and just get the little round white seed out of it. I've done it both ways, and by just taking it out, it grows faster, and uh, they're just as healthy as if you uh, plant them in the husk by soaking them overnight. So I just uh, plant that little white uh, seed in the ground like that. Just go right, kind of pan around this tree here a second. Um, I'll get back here away from it. Again, on this side, this is the sunny side, so you can see the tree a little bit better. Still getting more flowers up here at the top. More flowers over here. I use this tree to kind of shade some tropical trees. That's an ice cream bean. Uh, the lemon tree doesn't need shade from it. But down the ground here, I've got a macadamia nut tree that uh, does need the shade to start off with. But eventually, this will be able to grow into the sun. Uh, but uh, just wanted to highlight this moringa, moringa tree here because it's just it's amazing. I can't believe how many pods it has on it this year. So I'll have thousands and thousands of seeds. Here's a pod that's getting bigger. This is about the size that they get. Uh, you can see this one here is about 15 inches long. And they get really big like that, and then they'll start to dry out. And once they dry out and turn brown, um, that's when you harvest them and when they have the seeds inside. But uh, you can. They take the seeds and they get oil out of the seeds. They put them in a cold press 
and I use Moringa oil. You can take Moringa oil and rub it on your skin, go out in the sun, and you won't even sunburn. Uh, I wasn't sure if that really worked, but I had a, uh, was going up to Painted Desert and Petrified Forest in northern Arizona, and I had a friend that was going with me, and she put uh, Moringa all over her face and all over her arms. She had a short sleeve shirt, and uh, once we got up there, it got kind of hot, and she took her short her uh, short sleeve shirt off and had a tank top on underneath it. And wherever the short sleeve shirt was, she, and the tank top went up to the tank top, she didn't have the Moringa oil on, and so it burnt there and on her neck where she didn't have it. And all the rest were wherever she put the Moringa oil, not one burn. And we were out there in the, for six hours out in the sun that day, and I had the Moringa on me too, and I didn't burn. So it's amazing that just putting Moringa oil on your skin it makes it healthy. It's so much better than uh, SPF 40s and 50s and all that stuff because those things have chemicals in them and Moringa doesn't have those chemicals in it. It's a lot healthier for you and it makes your skin healthy. You can put it on age spots like brown spots on your face and it uh, after a few weeks or a month it'll actually start to take those brown spots away from your face and so it's really good for putting on your face. Uh, they make actually an, a Moringa anti-aging oil that you can put on your face like that, and it's just amazing what it can do. My wife swears by it now; she uses it all the time. But moringa is a very healthy tree, and you get all kinds of stuff from it. If you have any questions about moringa trees, or um, would like to grow some moringa trees and need some seeds, uh, put it in the comments. I, uh, if you have any questions, or if you have any advice for me about moringa trees, go ahead and put them in the comments. Uh, if you like this video, if you could please give me a, a thumbs up. And um, if you hit the subscribe button, I do uh, videos on all types of tropical trees that I grow here in, in Mesa, Arizona, by Phoenix, Arizona. Uh, it's amazing what uh, you can grow things here that people say, like bananas, they say you can't grow in the, in the desert. Uh, mango trees, even this ice cream bean tree. You can see how green the leaves are on that thing. They say you can't grow this here in Mesa, Arizona, but it's growing very healthy and everything, real dark green, beautiful tree to have in the front yard. But um, if, you, if you would like to subscribe, hit the subscribe button and hit the bell. It'll notify you whenever I do uh, future videos on different plants. But uh, thank you for watching today. Again, my name is Mel from Mesa, Arizona. Have a great day. Bye.